Well, LeBron James has been pretty darn good this postseason, I would say. 15 years into the league, mind you. How about the most 40-point games in a single postseason? It's a pretty darn good list. A Hall of Fame list, an all-time list. He's been pretty good in Game 7s as well, as good as anybody. We look at some notables. 2080 semis against the Celtics, where he put up 45 in a loss. The 2013 NBA Finals as well against the Spurs. 27 points, 12 rebounds. That was in a win. How about in 2016, the NBA Finals against the Warriors? 27 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. That's a win. 2018 Pacers, only 45 points in a win. So we've seen a lot of success from LeBron across the way in Game 7s. But I have to, because we haven't talked about it, go back to Game 6. Because... There is so much rhetoric around LeBron every single day of his life about whether or not he's the greatest coach of all time. That's all people want to talk about. Whether people put him ahead of Michael Jordan or not, isn't that the kind of performance you want to stamp next to a guy you're calling a legend in the game? I would hope so. I mean, that's, <laughs> first of all, after 15 seasons, I hope the people in Ohio who have had a chance to see him uh, for the majority of his career really appreciate what this guy has given them as far as the effort, the minutes that he's played, the body being sacrificed. I mean, he, he has been simply superb for them in carrying them now. Could be fourth time in a row back to the NBA Finals in Cleveland, eighth time overall. This is a special person. Listen, LeBron James is special. This is a, not only is a special person, this is a special player putting on special performances in these playoffs. This is the best playoff run I've seen since Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Now, whether you think LeBron James is better than MJ, I don't know. I don't... threw his middle name in there. Yeah. <laughs> whether you think LeBron is better than Mike, listen, that's for everybody. That's for somebody else to decide. LeBron James' book isn't done being written yet. So instead of constantly saying what he isn't for the LeBron James hater, oh, he's not better than Michael Jordan. Right now, let's enjoy the performance that he's putting on now. And let's, let's be, call it what it is. In his 15th season, this guy isn't resting on his laurels. He has gotten better. This is the best offensive version I've seen of LeBron James. We asked him to become a better three-point shooter, a better mid-range shooter, develop a post game. He has developed all of that, and now he is flat-out unguardable. Ask the Indiana Pacers, ask the Toronto Raptors, and now you can ask the Boston Celtics. There is nothing that this guy can't do on the basketball court. As you can tell by his five threes that he hit last game where he was absolutely on fire when the Cavs needed him to be. A lot of people hate on LeBron, but I think it's simply because they don't like the fact that he is catching up to Michael Jordan. Coach, if you're sitting there, you're Brad Stevens. Are you looking at what happened in Game 6 and almost saying your game plan is, you know what, LeBron's going to be LeBron. We know he's going to put up 40, 45 points, but we have to key in on stopping or limiting the rest as much as possible because there's no way to stop what LeBron is doing currently. Well, if you want to experiment, the time to experiment is Game 6 when you're going back to Cleveland's building. So if there's something in your mind you were thinking about, maybe we could do this against LeBron, do it in game six because your chances of winning there weren't as good as they are here at home in your own building. Now I think Brad Stevens has to go back to the defense that he feels has been the most successful defense against LeBron James, understanding we're either taking everybody else out of the game and shutting them down. And if they do that, I'm not sure LeBron can get 80 tonight against Coach, them. I think you have to do the exact opposite. LeBron James has proven in these playoffs he can beat you by himself. He can go for 40 and get 15 assists. Ask the Toronto Raptors. He can have these huge type of numbers. But on the road, the Cleveland Cavalier role players haven't proven that they can hit big shots. Uh, you, the la game one, they would have four for 26 from three. In this playoff series, I think in, 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 on the road, they shoot like 25% from the three-point line. So if I'm Brad Stevens. I'm doubling LeBron James early and often. I'm not allowing him to post up. Sometimes I'm going to throw him off and just run and jump at half court. I want the ball out of LeBron James' hands. If Tristan Thompson, J.R. Smith, Kyle Korver, and the rest of those other guys beat me, I can sleep at night knowing, you know what, their role players beat me. They were better than me. But if LeBron James, an all-time great, rocks me to sleep with an all-time great performance, I can't live with that. The guy has seven 40-point performances in these playoffs. I'm not going to give him a chance to get eight. Hey, Case, if you would have let me finish my sentence, that's what I was going to say. Well, Coach, well, I see. Hey, Coach, he, I'm he just cut me off right in the middle of my sentence. He does it. Well, I'm, hey, I'll apologize. I'm sorry, Coach. I'm, I'm never apologizing. Right. You think, <laughs> uh, I'm never asking you a question ever again. In you game, have to. In, don't forget, in game five, that starting backcourt, 
Zero points in the first half, to your point. George Hill then came back and had 20. That's going to be a big factor. Clearly, and I joked about this the other night with the guys, everyone's on the brink. I was chatting with Jason Lloyd, who was on the show. All the writers know there are hundreds of stories are going to start when LeBron loses. We've got million hours. You think we talked a lot about triple doubles last year? Wait until <laughs> LeBron loses this game. Does he consider that? To, I mean, how does he eliminate that? And how amazed are you that he seems to be able to somehow compartmentalize and eliminate all the questions that follow if he loses this game, Coach? I, I don't think right now he has any thought about worrying about any of that type of thing. I think he's so focused in on uh, what he has to do. And, you know, his mind is going where he's trying to figure out how's Boston going to come out, what are they going to do to me early on. He'll watch to see if they come and double like Brendan suggested they do to get the ball out of his hand. As Brendan said a while ago, he's a much more LeBron James offensively than we've seen in the past. That's because he understands I don't have the same, I don't have Kyrie to get me 30 on a given night. So I have to produce more offense myself, take that many more shots, and then get the other people involved at the same time. It'll be interesting to see how Boston responds at home. We know that Marcus Smart and Marcus Morris have both played like different Marcuses when they have been at home. Bye. We'll see whether or not that continues.